Well, as thousands of people in Ukraine flee the country, there are some going the other way, heading into the conflict zone. Those wanting to take up arms, others providing aid, and some just desperate to be with or to bring back their families. And Ian Umni is one of those. He's a 28-year-old from Manchester who is back in Ukraine uh, trying to do just that, get his wife and son out. He had quite a journey in. He joins me now from Nikopol in Ukraine. Ian, uh, great to talk to you. Uh, uh, we all remember waking up on Thursday morning to news of the invasion. What did you think when you heard what had happened overnight? My world fell apart at that time. I was woken uh, very early by my wife and she mentioned that they had started bombing and that was five coffees in my system. I was up, I was frantic, the news was on. I turned on Sky News straight away and my, you know, I, I was shook to the core. Um, and my instant reaction was to get a car and to drive as soon as I could. Um, but luckily I calmed down a bit. My friends and family talked me out of going there straight away, even tried to talk me out of going there full stop. But my family's here and love transcends war uh, or danger, in my opinion. So how was your journey across? Uh, long, tiring, uh, full of love and support, both from the online community and the community on the border and in Ukraine. So I was very lucky, actually. I had no plan as soon as I got to the border what to do from then on. So I was more than uh, willing uh, to, to trek the 80 kilometres to Lviv. But uh, I didn't have to. I only had to do a fraction of that, about five or six kilometres. And then I met um, some people who were ferrying children and women to the border and soldiers inland. So I helped them on a few runs. And then um, with a bit more luck and a bit more frustration throughout the day, I made it onto the train. Uh, and then eventually made it here yesterday afternoon. What was that reunion like? Emotional. I got off the bus and uh, I walked to the apartment uh, door and my son and my wife were there and my son held his arms open to me. I hugged him and I wept into my wife's shoulder and it was the best feeling ever. It was well worth the stress and the risk. Glad to hear it. So what's the plan now? How long are you going to stay? Or are you just going to try and turn around and bring them both straight back out? We need to, uh, to analyse the situation and work out what's the best uh, thing that we can do. Um, I would obviously like to get them out, um, but uh, we have to uh, discuss this today and work out a solution to uh, our biggest life problem, which is um, do we stay? Do we go? How do we go? Is it safe to go? Because at the minute we can see that Russia are in the south in Kherson, which is not too far from Nikopol. Um, and by all means, their plan to split the country uh, in half from Kiev to Odessa, um, it's, uh, it's right in our path. So we need to make a decision uh, very quickly. If you wanted to, to leave, what is the visa situation? Would they, your wife and child be able to come into the UK easily? Yes, they still have an existing tourist visa, so they can come over on that. But the UK government has also put in an express spouse visa for uh, families of British citizens in Ukraine. So uh, that's a very welcome uh, change to uh, what the UK are doing to help people in Ukraine. But of course, it is a difficult decision because for your, for your wife and child and for you as well, you will have other people that you love and care about in Ukraine. You've, you've got friends there, you've got colleagues there. How hard is it to, to think about leaving them behind? Extremely hard. My father's here. My father's lived here longer than I have. And I spoke to him yesterday and he gave me some information about what he was planning on doing. And um, it's, it's going to be hard. Um, I, I'm not leaving. I'm um, I'm staying here to help with any way I can. Uh, whether it's food, aid, building roadblocks, um, or making things, uh, or carrying certain uh, items to to defend uh, Ukraine. So um, I'm in the in the thought that Ukrainian citizens who are over 18 and male can't leave. So why should I? I've been here for so long. My friends and family are still here. Um, I need to do as much as I can to help the situation. Come on. Would, would you consider fighting? I would, yes. 
that must be quite a big decision. People here have no choice. So they don't have a, a decision to make. It's, it's already made for them. It, it's inevitable. So um, me being a volunteer, I'm, I'm here to help other people. So if I need to be, uh, if I need to bear arms, then I'm 100% willing to uh, in order to defend Ukraine. Well, it's really great to talk to you, Ian, and uh, I hope you'll you'll keep us informed here on Sky. Uh, you know, you've got a big Twitter following, a lot of people following your journey uh, across into Ukraine, whatever you decide to do, and I hope your, your family stays safe. Thanks so much for Thank talking. You.